it seemed that there are some issues uh, when it comes to Xbox with this universe online. Let's talk about it. Hello, heroes and villains. Welcome to Multiverse. So you can see uh, on the forums, uh, Meps posted a, uh, a thread about known issues concerning game game update uh, 110 and Xbox. Uh, basically, some of you guys did mention that. Like uh, one of you guys was, was wondering why or why did I not mention the black screen uh, issue on Xbox? Quite simply, I don't play on Xbox. Uh, some of you guys may not realize this, but uh, I play on uh, PS4 and I play on PC. I do not play on Xbox and I do not play on Nintendo Switch. So if there are some issues on Xbox or Nintendo Switch, odds are I read about it on the forum, same as you guys. And uh, basically I hadn't seen uh, I hadn't seen those issues mentioned until some of you guys mentioned it to me. So I looked in the forums and you can see there's a known issues for game update 110 and Xbox. So basically what people are, are saying is that there's some black screen and they don't see anything. Uh, some people were mentioning that uh, there's a black screen and they do see like a player names. Uh, but uh, there's a, basically the, the game just doesn't render. Uh, you can see also people uh, had been seeing an increase in number of crashes. I uh, forget what else. Uh, uh, the past year, uh, items are not discounted cor correctly. There, so there's a whole, whole bunch of issues. Even on Switch, like you can see here on Switch, the timers, like the deserter penalty, are show showing incorrectly. And the exaggerated uh, wait time. So there are a few issues that the, the devs are aware of, and they are working on it. So I guess this, uh, this was, I guess, the bad part of the post. Let's take a look at the good part now. So the good part is that they do know about those issues. Uh, so as you can see, Meps mentions that uh, for the Xbox update, uh, they are making some progress in tracking down the blank screen crashing issues. They do not have an ETA on the fix uh, just yet, but they are working on, uh, around the clock to, to fix it. Uh, again, they will deploy the fix as soon as they have it. Uh, the good news also is that not only are they working on fixing the issue, but for the people who have been experiencing this issue, basically the Xbox players and I guess the Switch players as well maybe, uh, there will be a gift for Xbox players. Uh, the gift will depend also on how long the game will be down for Xbox players. So depending on how long it takes them to fix the issue, they will, ga they will give a gift to Xbox players in proportion to how long it took them to fix it. Uh, I have no idea what the gift is at this point in time. You can see the message uh, same as I do. So uh, again, Mavs does mention exactly what's in the gift will depend on how long we go without a fix. So he obviously does thank you for your patience. And uh, you can see there's an Xbox update too. Uh, we believe we have the fix and are working uh, the update through rigorous testing. So my guess is they're, they're going to test it at least for a bit. And if they, once they, they are satisfied with whatever test that they run, uh, there will probably be an odd fix on the Xbox to try to fix the issue. So again, sadly, one thing that happens, uh, it's been happening with DCO for pretty much forever. Sometimes when they add a new fix, a new update, a new DLC, a new whatever, uh, they end up uh, breaking the game a little bit. And in this case, uh, I didn't think it would happen as much on Xbox, but I guess it's uh, not only not only does it happen as much, it seems to be a bit worse. Although sadly, even on uh, PlayStation, we do have some issues from time to time. Like when they launched uh, Wonderverse DLC, the four-player alert was, uh, well, let's say, it had a few uh, a few issues. Uh, also, I guess part of the issue is that the only way they can really test the game, uh, the only way they test the game is on on the PC server actually on the PC test server, that is where they can actually test the game. So they can test the game on PC, but they cannot really test the game on PS4 and on Xbox. Usually, sadly, what happens is that when they when they, the, the, when the game update goes live, that is the true test for PlayStation and Xbox. And probably Nintendo Switch as well. So sadly, whenever we get a new update, uh, we could run into some issues that they could not find on the test server because the test server is on PC, obviously. Uh, some people have been su uh, suggesting that they should have a test server for uh, for PlayStation or for Xbox. Or uh, sadly, the way it works is that w with PC they can uh, they can make a hotfix and uh, turn around very quickly. With PlayStation, it's a bit more complicated. They need uh, they need approval from Sony. They need approval for uh, for from various. Uh, 
uh, first uh, various instances, I guess, and the same is probably true from Xbox. Uh, if they need uh, to make a patch for Xbox, they probably they need the approval for a whole bunch of other people. So it's a bit slower for them to be able to quickly come up with a patch and fix the issue. As opposed to on PC, they can quickly create a patch and uh, fix it right away. Uh, it's sad, but sadly, uh, that's how it is. So having a test server on uh, PlayStation or an Xbox is not really an option. So the less bad option right now is that they test the game on PC on the test server. They try to work out all the issues they can there. And then sadly when they add the, the game update to PlayStation and to Xbox and to Nintendo Switch, they may run into some issues they did not have on the test server. And then they have to fix those issues on the live server. It's a bit sad for the people who cannot play the game right now. But again, the good news is that they are aware of, the, of uh, the issues. They seem to have some sort of fix to be able to fix it. So we should be able to expect a, a hot fix pretty soon to fix the issue. And again, with a bit of luck, you guys will get a nice a big gift out of that. I guess we're going to have to wait and see what happens. If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. I have roughly 2,000 videos about this universe online at this point, so if I don't answer your question right away, just search in my videos. Odds are, I already made a video that answered your question. Or click one of the videos that you see on your screen right now.